welcome to my nursery if you are new and welcome back if you're already subscribed happy holidays happy friday everyone i hope everybody's doing well so i am finally back today to do a video right now this week i had mostly been off my feet basically for the whole week um i'm just getting around a little bit better today because I did something to my knee and it is like in so much pain. It's swollen. I think I pulled something. I don't know. I, I heard something like, you know how you feel something pop? <laughs> so I guess it was bad, whatever it was, because I've pretty much been off my feet resting all week. So that's why I'm just coming back to do this video. I was planning on doing this video way earlier in the week, but after my leg was out of commission, I couldn't come do any video because I couldn't stand up. So anyway, I am standing now. I'm walking a little better, but it still hurts. It's better, but not 100% better. So, anywho, I'm just happy that I had finished most of my running around Christmas shopping early um, because I didn't have to, like, go out this week to shop anywhere and walk around or anything like that. I had pretty much finished already, and most of the rest of the stuff I did get this week, I ordered it offline, which right now is pretty much everything you order now says it's going to come in January. <laughs> So you really have to start so early, it, even if you're going to order offline, if you're going to go to the store, whatever you're going to do, you need to start like so early with everything. But anyway, so I'm finally back today with my baby girl, Yasmin. And so if you are new, please subscribe right now. Hit that subscribe button before I forget to say that. And um, hit the click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I do new videos. And so we're going to be doing a few things in this video. I don't know how long it's going to be. This is one of my lovies I had for a while. It says my first Christmas and it's a little rattle bear. I finally let one of the babies hold it. I usually put it under my Christmas tree in here as a, like a little skirt under the tree, but it's like a pretty little lovey. I bought this like so long ago when I first started collecting dolls. So I figured I'd take a little quick picture of Yasmin holding him. So anyway, I don't know about anybody else, but it just seemed like this month is just zooming by. It's Christmas month. You just, you want to enjoy it if you do celebrate Christmas. As I said, I love Christmas, but I don't know. To me, it's like, it just goes by so fast. You really have to start just doing whatever you're going to do right after Thanksgiving. Like, once you finish serving the turkey, <laughs> just hop right on into Christmas. And basically, that's what I did um, because I had put my Christmas tree up before Thanksgiving, like that weekend beforehand, because I like my Christmas tree up now. When Thanksgiving comes, I like my Christmas tree in the living room to already be up because I feel like the, the holiday... It just goes by too fast. Everything goes by too fast now. But if it's something that you want to get the full enjoyment out of it, you need to start really early. And Christmas is one of those times. I mean, we do celebrate it the whole month. But it just go, it still just goes by so quickly. I can't believe next weekend is Christmas. So anyway, I'm just happy I did kind of start early because I had no idea I was going to hurt my leg. And then that would have really messed me up if I had a waited to shop or something. And now I can barely hardly walk on my leg. Forget it. That would have been disastrous. So anyway, this is Yasmin Taylor, as I was saying. 
she is the newest baby in my nursery yeah she's my newest she's a full body silicone as you can see she is the tate sculpt by clea taylor dolls so she is a full body silicone anatomically correct baby girl she was painted and rooted by taylor doll studio and as i said she was sculpted by clea taylor so she is like a taylor family baby Howard Taylor, Mr. Taylor painted her, and Allie Taylor, their daughter, rooted her hair. And as I said, she sculpted by Claire Taylor. So I call her a Taylor family baby. <laughs> so anyway, she has this lovely soft silicone. I really, really love how she feels. I love her, her softness and her silicone. Um, she's just really, really flexible, as you can see. She is absolutely amazing when you hold her. She just feels so nice. This is her little back. Um, so she's poured all in one piece. And she is the base model, basic model, meaning I did not get the drinking wet system. She does not have a drinking wet system. She does not have armatures. She is just nice, soft silicone, poured all in one piece. And she has an open mouth. She can take a full bottle and pacifier in there. If you can see, she has like full gums and tongue and all of that stuff in there. And I just absolutely love her. And she is the Tate Asleep Sculpt because a few years ago, in 2018, it was the Tate Awake Sculpt. So, this one is now the Tate Asleeps. And these Tate Asleeps are being sold. And as addition dolls, she's Tate number two. There's supposed to be 10 of them in the addition. Meaning they're going to be fully painted, completed, hair rooted, and everything. All by Taylor Doll Studio. So, these babies won't be sold blank at all. You would have to buy them when, as they become available on Clea Taylor Doll's website. She puts up videos on her channel on YouTube, Clea Taylor Dolls, as they're releasing them. And then they put them available once they're released on her website. And you can go on to cleataylordolls.com and you can see all the dolls that she has that are available in her store um, any blank kits that are available, whatever she has available, whatever is released and ready to go is in her store on her website. Because every video I get someone who asks me, how do I get, they get one of the dolls I have? Well, where do I buy my silicone dolls from? So that's why I try to answer that question in every video. I know it sounds repetitious for those of you who watch all the time, and I apologize, but I repeat these things because believe it or not, even though I say this stuff in the video, someone will still ask me under the video, where do I get my dolls from? And I'm actually saying it in the video, but they, I don't know why. I don't know if they don't understand if they're new. I, I don't, I can't explain it. But somebody asked me that in a, uh, recently in a comment, so I'm answering it again. So just in case she's watching, she'll hear me explain it again. So Clea Taylor Dolls is the name of the artist and sculptor of my silicone dolls. All of them are sculpted by Clea Taylor. Okay, she sells blank kits like some of my dolls. I might have painted it myself. It's a Clea Taylor sculpt. I buy it blank, I paint it. This one was not painted by me. She was, I bought her and she was all completely done. So Claire Taylor also sells dolls that she completely paints. I have some that she's completely did the whole doll and painted them, rooted them, did everything. Then this one, as I said, is now something new where Claire Taylor sculpted this doll, but her husband and her daughter did the painting and the hair rooting. And this doll is being sold also as an addition doll fully done by Taylor Doll Studio. So you'd have to buy this baby fully completed. It's not being sold blank. You can go on ClearTaylorDolls.com. That is her website. And also the doll, these dolls done by Taylor Doll Studio right now are also included on Claire Taylor Dolls website. 
So that's just a quick rundown. I also have playlists. If you go to my channel homepage, if you're new or you want information on where I get my dolls, click playlists on the top of my homepage of my channel here. You'll see playlists and you go on there and I have playlists of videos where I've fully talked about how and where I buy my silicone dolls. And you can see, and maybe I explained it a little more detailed in those videos. Okay, so what we're doing first, we're going to dress this baby into this Burberry romper. It's, this is the one I was talking about in the last video. And it has the little red, I say they're cherries, but they're just dots, red polka dots. So she's going to put this romper on. And I know Layla wore this romper because I bought this for Layla my other silicone girl and then i think i put it on amani the a silicone baby i don't have anymore so now i'm going to put it on this baby we're going to see how it fits yasmin and then i'm going to put these tights they are like a ivory color and they're ribbed um i have white tights too but i didn't really like how just the plain like stark white looked with the romper in my opinion i think like the off-white or ivory looks better with that beigey khaki color that this romper has more so than these being just too bright white i don't know so we're going to try out these tights although they're ribbed and I'm going to put a t-shirt under it, which this is white, but you won't see this, this little singlet with no sleeves because I feel like she needs something on under the romper. And then we're going to put these little red suede Cryer and Company crib shoes on her feet to bring out some of the red. And then she already had this red bow on, so I just pretty much brushed her hair and left the same bow in her hair. And then I also took out these pretty original bow socks, figuring if I don't like the tights, I can switch and put these on her instead. And then after we dress her, we're going to pull, or I'm going to show the prizes I have and then I'm going to tell and reveal who my next winners are of the prizes I'm giving away. Um, so what happened was, <laughs> what had happened was the last winner I picked for prize number two, as you guys know, I said in my last video, she had not answered when I announced her as my winner of my second giveaway prize. Um, I did, a, I'm doing three prizes basically. And I started it last month during the month of Thanksgiving. And it kind of extended over into this month of Christmas where I'm just randomly picking commenters that comment, anyone who is subscribed to my channel make sure you are subscribed and then make sure you're commenting under the videos because i do read all of my comments i usually heart them some of them i'll heart them and i may respond under them as well and i like reading the comments i like the in you know the interaction between us and i feel like we get to know each other from the commenting back and forth. So I do enjoy the comments. So what I decided was last month for Thanksgiving and then going over into Christmas month, I would just pick some of my regular commenters, just randomly picking whoever I felt like, okay, I want to give this person a little gift. And it's not big gifts. It's just something to show my appreciation for you commenting and watching my videos, taking the time to watch them and supporting my channel. And just, I wanted to show my appreciation. Um, I did a larger giveaway when I hit 3000 subscribers about a month ago, but I felt like when we do the giveaway and it's a bigger giveaway, and you only can pick one person for the prize, basically. 
it's nice, but then there's like so many other people. You can't pick but one person for that prize. So I just felt like I wanted to do a little more and pick a few more people that I wanted to just give something to, even though it's not huge prizes, but just to show my appreciation. So I was supposed to be doing this all last month, like one person a week in November. But again, the month ran by so fast before I blinked, November was done. <laughs> So I extended it over into December. Um, so instead of doing four, because this is Christmas month now, I'm just picking three. Um, so I will pick two people this time. Um, the first person, as I was saying, she, no, the second winner, she finally did respond when I mentioned it in the last video. She finally answered me. Um, and I was so happy to hear from her. I was happy that she was fine and everything. And she did say she had been a little sick. That's why she had not responded right away. And that's what I was hoping she was, you know, nothing was wrong. Because I have people that regularly comment on my videos as soon as I put up a video. And all of a sudden, when I don't see them comment, sometimes I get a little concerned because I'm like, oh, gosh, I hope everything is OK. And that is how much I pay attention to my comments, guys. I really do pay attention to them. And I know like I know my regular comments is pretty much. But she's fine. She's feeling better. But the only sad thing was, unfortunately, um, I still can't send her her prize because she's out of the country. And with these giveaways that I'm doing, I'm not sending any gifts out of the country right now. So that is why I'm picking another person to receive her prize. So that's why her prize is still here. And I'm going to pick a new winner and so the thing is for my people, when I do pick them and they contact me, one of the first things is, are you subscribed to my channel? So make sure you're subscribed. Um, make sure. Well, that's basically it. You have to be subscribed. And then because I'm randomly picking you and you're not going to know I'm going to pick you. So what I'm looking for is that person, once I pick them and we... We do um, message each other and everything, and you can give me your information as far as your name, shipping address, and all your information for me to send you your prize. Um, the thing is, you have to be within the United States because I'm not going to ship out of the country. So that is why I am picking a second person now for that second prize. I will be sharing a new winner to receive her prize and then I'll show the third prize and say who that winner is this baby is so <laughs> adorable I love her size um she is so chunky also she's very newborn but she's also like a healthy baby um, she reminds me of the size of my last baby, my real baby, who's now 14, Brianna. She was like a nine pounder when I gave birth to her and she was 21 inches long. And that's what this baby reminds me of. She reminds me of my daughter, Brianna, because this baby is about nine pounds as well. And I believe she is supposed to be 20 inches long. So she is definitely a sweet little size, this baby. Not too big and not too small. She's like perfect. She's perfect and she fits her clothes so, so cute. She fills out her clothes. And like I said, I just love holding her. She feels so amazing. Her weight, when you hold her, you know you're holding a baby. She feel like a real baby when you hold her. 
her movement and everything, her little, like her, her floppy head. You have to definitely support her little head when you hold her. And she just has like a nice weight to her when you hold her. And she looks so cute in her clothes. Cause she's a nice size. Who just came in my nursery and didn't close the door back? So now we're gonna put on her little shoes and she'll be all done. I think I have a bow that goes with these shoes. That's more the color of the shoe because this bow is a little more bright red. But I didn't take out the bow that goes with the shoes. I might switch it after the video. And I usually post my baby's pictures on my Instagram. And then eventually I also post them here on um, my community posts. But they usually go on my Instagram first. So if I do switch up something in their outfit... You will see it when I post their pictures on my Instagram. My Instagram link is always under my videos in the description. Um, I also sell baby clothes and different things for babies. And it is usually, that is where I sell it on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please check me out over there. And my Instagram link, you can just click it and it'll take you right over to my Instagram, it's under the videos. Um, when you go under these videos, you have to click more in the description in order to see the whole menu drop down of whatever's in the description. Click the word more, or you won't see any of the stuff that's in the description under the video. Okie dokie, so now she is all done. And she fits the outfit pretty well. All right, so let me reshare the first gift. Well, this, this was the second gift. The first gift went easy. The mommy got it. I picked her. She messaged me right after I picked her. Like, soon as the video went up, less than a few minutes after the video was up, she, she messaged me. Um, the way you message me to claim your prize, if you're my winner or one of my winners, is you go over to my Instagram. So you're going to click my Instagram link under this video. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you click the link. It'll take you over to my Instagram. And then once you're on my Instagram homepage, click message, and then you just go right on there and message me. If you don't have Instagram, you can also message me on Facebook Messenger. On Facebook, I'm Erica Jones, and I'll put that under the video as well in the description. So, the first mommy got her prize right away because she messaged me right away. And so happened I had to go to the post office that week. So, I just mailed her prize out the same, like a couple of days after I mailed her stuff to her. So, that one went so easy, easy peasy. So, now the second prize. Um, this was the sleeper. It is like a coral color with these flowers on it. It has the little ballerina feet. That is the first thing in the prize. This is a zero to three month sleeper. Then I also gave this little bamboo toothbrush for your baby's hair. Most of us use it for the baby's hair, those little toothbrushes. Um, a diaper, which is um, Rascal and Friends organic diaper. And then this pretty journal with the rainbow. And this is for the mommy of the baby. So this was the first prize, basically. And the journal has like the little ribbon in it to hold your page. So this is, well, second prize. I keep mixing it up. So this is the second prize that I'm giving to a new winner as of right now. So, for this prize, my new winner is Lisa Price. Congratulations to Lisa Price. This is your prize. Please contact me on Instagram 
to claim your prize and give me your information to mail you your prize. So Lisa Price, congratulations to you. So you're getting prize number two that I just showed. Um, Lisa Price is one of definitely my regular commenters. She comments under my videos. She comments um, on my community posts. Like I have some people that are so supportive and I appreciate you so much. And definitely I notice you because they comment and support me like on all different platforms. Like I know they're there. You know, they make sure I know that they're there. And that is so, like, I, it makes me feel so good. And I just really appreciate you. And unfortunately, I have so many of you that follow me like that and that have been for years. And I wish I could give a prize to everybody, but I can't. So these are just a few people I'm picking. And that's why I decided to do this because I felt like whenever I do a bigger giveaway, it's just one winner. And so I wanted to do a little more. So I figured since this is the season of giving, Thanksgiving, Christmas season, I would just pick a few more people than just one for a big prize. I figured I'll break up the prize, make smaller prizes, and pick a few different people. So that's why I'm doing this. So now let's go to the third prize. This is the last prize for right now for these small giveaways. But what I have thought about and am thinking about, because I love doing this, I act, I just love giving, okay? So what I'm gonna do, if, it, if I can, I'm gonna see how it goes in the new year. It won't be for January. I'll skip January because it's right after Christmas. I gotta recover. I got kids. <laughs> um, I will continue this. I'm thinking of continuing doing this after January where I would pick someone monthly, maybe one to two people a month that I will randomly pick that I want to send a, a little gift to. So please subscribe, please comment, because the way I'm picking my people that I choose, I'm looking at the comments and that's where I recognize who's watching. I see who's watching because they're commenting. I know that they're there. So please continue to comment, please subscribe. And I'm definitely thinking of trying to continue these little giveaways, small giveaways during this new year coming, 2023. And I, like I said, I probably will start doing it in February again after these prizes I send out. So next prize number three is I choose... Lillian LaSalle. I hope I'm saying her last name correctly. I'm going to look at her name under a video to make sure I'm saying it correctly. And also I'm spelling it correctly. I may put it in the video when I edit. I'll put their names on the video so you can see your name. So this is the first thing you'll get. And this is an accessory little gift um with the hair bows and the little booties i love these i really these are so handy because you can make an outfit with a, a onesie and put a hair a headband and booties with it and make you an outfit so i love little accessories like this because you can easily match these with something to complete an outfit or to make an outfit so you got some little booties and headbands and these are those colors i'm in love with right now this um, plum color or blush, whatever you call it. Then you got cream. Definitely cream can go with anything. And then, of course, for girls, you need pink. So those colors are like perfect. So you got that. And then you have these passies, which I love these pacifiers. You guys know itsy ritzy these are. And they are the flat or or orthodontic nipple so these won't stretch your baby's mouth out i like these and i don't have many of this kind with the flat orthodontic nipple so i need to now start find like i'm gonna start collecting this kind now i know it i'm gonna start looking for these but i like how flat this is to just fit easily into a baby's mouth even if the baby's mouth is not really wide 
like these would be perfect for Yasmin here because being that she got the floppy tongue in her mouth, she got upper and lower gums, like her mouth is loaded, as you would say. <laughs> so I have to make sure when I put the passy in her mouth, her tongue is down and I'm getting the passy in correctly. So I don't like big, big passies in this baby's mouth. So now I need to look for this kind for her, matter of fact. I definitely have to do that. But anyway, getting back to your prize. <laughs> That's the second part. And it goes perfectly with the booties and um, the bows, these pacifiers, the colors. Then you will also get for yourself, for the mommy, some hand cream. Cherry chair is called. Some little hand cream to put in your purse or whatever. That's for the mommy. And... This is for the mommy. Faith, hope, love. It is a little like journal. It This one has Bible verses at the bottom of it. Like this is Psalms. And then it has this little pen over here that fits right in the side. And I don't want to take it all the way out, but it fits right in the side of your book. A little gold pen so you wouldn't lose your pen it has a little pocket it fits in so I thought that was really nice so that is the third prize and that one is going to Lillian LaSalle congratulations to my winners and happy holidays to everyone um, whoever is celebrating the holidays I hope you are enjoying it as much as I am. Um, and so that is my video for today, guys. Those are my rest of my winners. And that is my baby girl, little Miss Yasmin Taylor, all in her Burberry. And she is having on some red and white again. Um, a dressy outfit this time because she was in that sleeper for quite a while and what else I want to say um so allow me time to ship your gifts that's what I wanted to say because as I said I'm not getting around too good on my leg at the moment so give me a little time I definitely will get your gifts to you guys and once you give me your information and I will also message you and give you tracking once I ship out your gifts, but definitely give me a little time to ship your gifts. And also the post office, the lines, the last time I was there, oh my gosh, the line. So I will get your gifts out to you as soon as I possibly can, but give me a little time. But the main thing is just make sure you claim your gift. So that's the other thing. Please try to claim your gift and give me your information. Let's see. This is Friday. At least contact me by Sunday. Sunday night, say 10 p.m. So you have from tonight or whenever this video goes up on YouTube until this Sunday night coming up. Um, today is December 16th. So you have until the 18th, December 18th, 10 p.m. to contact me on Instagram or Facebook. If possibly you don't have Instagram or Facebook, just put that in the comments under this video so I'll know you don't have either and we'll figure out another way for me to let you contact me. So that is all for this video. Let me show you guys her mouth for those who have not seen this baby's mouth. And that is that lubricant in her mouth from the, the um, KY jelly that I put on her passies, but it make her mouth look like saliva is in there. It looks so real, look at her mouth. So yeah, I'm gonna look for her some of those passies now with the orthodontic nipples. So this video is quite long. I hope you stay to the end. Let me know if you stay to the end. Thanks for watching and happy holidays.